Hey guys, it's Todd here. So today we'll be looking at what's known as the 68%, the 95%, and the 99.7% rule. So this is what we're looking at. So in some earlier videos, I covered the standard deviation. This is basically an application of the standard deviation, which remember the standard deviation was equal to this sigma. So it's an application of this, and also the property that the area under the curve is equal to 1, or 100%. So which we wrote as the probability of x is equal to x. And that basically just says that the area under the curve is equal to 1. So over here I've got some curves on our left. So I'll begin with this 68% rule. So what we said was that with these little red markings, each of these represents a single standard deviation from the mean. And because we have numbers between 0 and infinity on the right hand side, these were positive standard deviations, so there was one positive standard deviation there, two positive standard deviations there, and three positive standard deviations there. And because we had numbers between 0 and negative infinity on this side, we had negative one standard deviations here, negative two standard deviations here and negative three standard deviations here. So these rules, the 68%, 95% and 99.7% rule, really just examine these properties of standard deviation and this curve. So the first rule is this 68% rule. And what this says is that between negative 1 and positive 1 standard deviations, if we were to draw boundaries here, so we were draw, to draw a boundary at this 1 standard deviation and a boundary at this negative 1 standard deviations, and to purely section off this area here, then the area under this negative 1 and 1 standard deviations would contain 68% of our observations. So this would be 68% of our observations. And if we remember our rules of symmetry, we had the rule that the normal is symmetrical, so the uh, area on one side between 0 and 1 standard deviations must be the same as the area between 0 and negative 1 standard deviations. So that means that this area here, which I'll do with vertical lines, must be the same as this area here, which I'll do with horizontal lines. So the area between this red and blue line shaded with horizontal lines is the same as this area shaded here with the vertical lines. And in total, that adds to 68%. So what this means is that between this negative 1 standard deviations and positive 1 standard deviations, there is a 68% of our data values. And we also have this property that the probability of x being any number is equal to 1. So we know that we can write 68 as a um, decimal value if we divide it by 100%. So the decimal value for 68% is going to be 68% divided by 100%, which is just equal to 0.68. So we know that 0.68% uh, of the data is between negative 1 and positive 1 standard deviations. So that's our 68% rule. We then have our 95% rule. So our 95% rule 
says that. Very similar to our 68% rule. We still have a mean at zero, and the numbers to our right are going to be between naught and positive infinity. So they're all positive standard deviations up this way, and the numbers to our left are between naught and negative infinity. So we've got negative standard deviations this way. So if we just rewrite those down, so we've got one standard deviation here, two standard deviations here, and three standard deviations here. And on our left, we've got negative one standard deviations here, negative two standard deviations here, and negative three standard deviations here. So what this 95% rule says is that between two standard deviations of the mean, so between negative two standard deviations and positive two standard deviations, so if we were to draw some boundaries on our curve here between negative two standard deviations and positive two standard deviations, and we were to take the area all the way under this curve, and we were to colour that in. This area here would contain 95% of our data. So there would be 95% of the area in here between negative two standard deviations and positive two standard deviations. And again we can apply our properties of symmetry and we know that this area here, which I'll shade as vertical lines, so between negative two standard deviations and zero must be the same as this area between this mean of zero and positive two standard deviations. So we know they must be the same. So if 95% of the data is in this area between negative two and positive two, and we know there's symmetry, we can say that between naught and two standard deviations, and between naught and negative two standard deviations, we must have the same area. So to work out what percentage of our data lies in here, we can use um, just some simple math, and we can say that, well, if 95% is in four standard deviations, is in four standard deviations, to get it into two, so one, two, three, four, 95 percent is in four standard deviations, we'll have to divide it by two. So if we divide both sides by two, we can see that for our 95 percent rule, we would have 47.5 percent of the data in this vertically shaded area and we would have 47.5% in this sorry horizontally and 47.5% in this vertically shaded area so that is our 95% rule we can then look at our 99.7% rule so our 99.7% and this is very similar to the first two rules. So if we remember, we have a mean at zero, and to our right, we have numbers all the way up to positive infinity, and on our left, we've got numbers all the way down to negative infinity. So our standard deviations on the right are going to be positive, and our standard deviations on the left will be negative. So we'll have one positive standard deviation here, two positive standard deviations here, and three positive standard deviations here. And on our left, we'll have negative one standard deviations here, negative two standard deviations here, and negative three standard deviations here. So, this 99.7% rule applies to three standard deviations. And what it says is that if we were to draw boundaries at our negative three standard deviations and our positive three standard deviations, and we were to caution them off and say take this entire area under the curve here then this area 
would have 99.7% of the data, or nearly 100% of the data. And again, we can s apply our properties of symmetry. So we know that 99.7% of data is between negative three standard deviations and po positive three standard deviations. And we know that this red shaded area here with vertical lines must be the same as this area here with the horizontal lines. So, if we know that 99.7% is in, oh sorry, is between negative 3 and positive 3 standard deviations, we want to work out how many what percentage of data is between naught and three standard deviations. So because we've got this property of symmetry, we can just divide our 99.7% by 2 because half of the data is on this side and half of the data is on this side. So we'll just divide that by 2 and we can find that 49.85% of our data is between naught and three standard deviations. So we've got 49.85% of our data here, or nearly all of our data is between that. So these are our 68% and 95% and our 99.7% rule. And there's some examples online for you guys to have a look at. Uh, thanks for that.